Hello everyone! Welcome to Math Corner! In this video, we will solve problems involving combinations. Let us begin! Combination refers to the number of ways of selecting from a set when the order is not important. Again, the order is not important. Changing the order does not create new combination. For instance, A, B, and B, A are considered one combination. In evaluating combination of N objects taken R at a time, we will be using N factorial over quantity N minus R factorial times R factorial, or permutation of N objects taken R at a time over R factorial. Let us have some examples. Example number one, how many groups of four can be formed out of ten people? This is combination problem since changing the order of the members of the group does not create another group. The value of n is 10 and the value of r is 4. Using this formula, combination of 10 taken 4 at a time is equal to 10 factorial over quantity 10 minus 4 factorial times 4 factorial. It is equal to 10 factorial over quantity 10 minus 4 factorial is 6 factorial times 4 factorial. 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 factorial all over 6 factorial times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Cancel out common factors. Cancel out 6 factorial. 10 and 2 share a common factor of 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5 and 2 divided by 2 is 1. 9 and 3 are divisible by 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3 and 3 divided by 3 is 1. 8 and 4 are divisible by 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2. And 4 divided by 4 is 1. Multiply the remaining factors. In the numerator, we have 5 times 3 times 2 times 7, which is equal to 210. In the denominator, 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 is equal to 1. 210 divided by 1 is equal to 210. Solution number 2 Using this formula, combination of 10 taken 4 at a time is equal to permutation of 10 taken 4 at a time over 4 factorial. Permutation of 10 taken 4 at a time is equal to 10 times 9 times 8 times 7. 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. After cancellation of the common factors, Multiply the remaining factors. In the numerator, we have 5 times 3 times 2 times 7, which is equal to 210. In the denominator, 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 is equal to 1. 210 divided by 1 is equal to 210. Example number 2, in how many ways can 5 people shake hands? The order of the people shaking hands is not important. So this is combination problem. Since there are 5 people, the value of n is 5. There are 2 people required in handshakes. The value of r is 2. Again, we will be using 2 solutions. Solution number 1, using this formula. Combination of 5 taken 2 at a time is equal to 5 factorial over quantity 5 minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial. It is equal to 5 factorial over quantity 5 minus 2 factorial is 3 factorial times 2 factorial. 5 times 4 times 3 factorial all over 3 factorial times 2 times 1. 
Cancel out common factors. Cancel out 3 factorial. 4 and 2 are divisible by 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. And 2 divided by 2 is 1. Multiply the remaining factors. In the numerator, 5 times 2 is equal to 10. In the denominator, 1 times 1 is equal to 1. 10 divided by 1 is 10. There are 10 ways. Solution number 2, using this formula, combination of 5 taken 2 at a time, is equal to permutation of 5 taken 2 at a time over 2 factorial. It is equal to 5 times 4 over 2 times 1. 5 times 4 is 20 over 2 times 1 is 2. 20 divided by 2 is equal to 10. Example number 3, in how many ways can a committee composed of 2 boys and 3 girls be chosen from 8 boys and 4 girls? The number of ways of choosing 2 boys is combination of 8 taken 2 at a time. The number of ways of choosing 3 girls is combination of 4 taken 3 at a time. Note that the word AND means multiply and the word OR means add. The number of ways of choosing 2 boys and 3 girls is combination of 8 taken 2 at a time times combination of 4 taken 3 at a time. Combination of 8 taken 2 at a time is equal to 8 times 7 all over 2 times 1. 8 times 7 is 56 over 2 times 1 is 2. 56 divided by 2 is 28. There are 28 ways in choosing 2 boys. Next, combination of 4 taken 3 at a time is equal to 4 times 3 times 2 all over 3 times 2 times 1. 4 times 3 times 2 is 24. Over 3 times 2 times 1 is 6. 24 divided by 6 is 4. There are 4 ways in choosing 3 girls. The number of ways of choosing 2 boys and 3 girls is equal to 28 times 4, which is equal to 112. Example number 4. A group of 5 students is to be chosen from 6 boys and 8 girls. How many groups can be formed if the group is consisting of at least 4 boys? If there are at least 4 boys, the group may be formed as 4 boys and 1 girl, that is combination of 6 taken 4 at a time, times combination of 8 taken 1 at a time. Or, 5 boys, that is combination of 6 taken 5 at a time. The total number of possible groups is combination of 6 taken 4 at a time, times combination of 8 taken 1 at a time, plus combination of 6 taken 5 at a time. Let us solve. Using this formula, Combination of 6 taken 4 at a time is equal to 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 all over 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. By cancellation, cancel out 4 and cancel out 3. 6 and 2 are divisible by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3 and 2 divided by 2 is 1. 3 times 5 is 15. Over 1 times 1 is 1. 15 divided by 1 is equal to 15. Next, combination of 8 taken 1 at a time is equal to 8 over 1. 8 divided by 1 is equal to 8. Next, combination of 6 taken 5 at a time is equal to 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 all over 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Cancel out 5. 
4, 3, and 2. 6 divided by 1 is equal to 6. So we have 15 times 8 plus 6. 15 times 8 is 120. 120 plus 6 is 126. The total number of possible groups is 126. We are done solving problems involving combination. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.